Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. Well, it's time for another CRH, and CRH stands for Coin Roll Hunt. And that's what we're going to do today is hunt through this this uh, 50 cent uh, pack of pennies. So there are 50 coins here, and we're looking for the pre-1982 pennies, which are made from 95% copper. And at the time of this filming, which is October of 2018, the copper at 95% is worth about double the face value. Now, it's currently illegal to melt down this type of coinage, but even if it were to become legal, I still wouldn't melt these down because it's easily identifiable copper bullion. So, I just want to keep it in coin form forever, especially since I'm a big coin collector and coin enthusiast. Now if we see coins that are after the year 1982, they are, well they're worth one cent in face value, but the melt value is half a cent, so it'd be literally insanity to melt one of those down, not to mention the illegal, because the metal at 97.5 percent zinc and just a 2.5 percent jacket of copper, if you will, hey nice jacket, then that has a metal value of just half a cent. So half a cent, you know, might as well keep it in coin form, especially since it's legal, or since it's illegal <laughs> to melt it down. And if we see coins that are exactly from the year 1982, they could be, you know, that's the year, the transition year, meaning that, um, you know, some of them were still made from 95% copper, but they transitioned that year where they started to be made from 97.5% zinc. So the best way to test those is to weigh them. They actually weigh more if they're copper. And you can also bounce them against a wooden table and hear the more high quality ring sound that would demonstrate that it's uh, the higher quality copper metal as opposed as opposed to kind of a kind of a dead kind of a thud sound, which means that it's 97.5% zinc. So that's how we test them if they're exactly 1982. And if we find any coins that are really old, like the wheat back cents, those can be worth anywhere from five to ten times the face value. So we're talking about a 500 to a thousand percent return on the investment, if not more, depending on condition and year. So getting started now, we're looking here at 1978. 1978 is 95% copper. And hopefully we'll find some from Canada. Those were uh, discontinued back in 2013, so it's always fun to find those. This one is 2007. 2014. This one is 2017P. Now the 2017Ps, I hold on to those too because I heard those are collectible. Even though they're 97.5% uh, zinc. You know, I don't collect them for the, the bullion value. I collect them, those for the numismatic value. So I'll put those in a separate pile. But the primary thing we're looking for is the wheat back cents. And, of course, the uh, pre-1982 cents. And hopefully going to stumble upon a Canadian wheat penny or two. Every once in a while we find those. So this one's from 2002. 2016. 1972 awesome find and uh, we can see this one right here is from 1974 there we go that's another 95 percent copper coin very exciting this one is from 1988 all righty 1974 95% copper. That is awesome. 1999. 1989. 2015. 1974 in really good shape too. 95% copper. 1998. 
1982. Okay, 1982. We're going to set that aside in the 1982 pile because that could be either 95% copper, which we're hoping, or 97.5% zinc. 2004, 1999, 2007, another 1982, we're going to set that aside there, okay, 2006, 2016, okay, 1995, 1992, 1996, 1990, 2013, 2011, 2014, 2010, 1997, 1974, 95 percent copper. That is excellent. 2014. Another 1982. So that could be mostly copper or could be mostly zinc. 2004. 2016. 1993. 1985. 1969, I do believe. Yep, that's what it looks like. 95% copper. That is awesome. 1993. 1995. 1993. 2015, 1995, 1997. Okay, let's take a look at what we found in the 95% copper finds here. All right, let's count them out as we go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. That is a great find. And just wanted to thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it so much. Really appreciate your support. Please, if you would, please crush that like button. Leave a comment. Always love seeing your comments. And subscribe. And you can also follow on Instagram and follow on Twitter. At Coin Collecting Fun. Thank you so much. And have a great day.